CataractCoach.com, the future of refractive surgery, an interview with Guy Kazarian at the 2021 AAO meeting. I'm glad we're back to doing in-person meetings so that we can interact with our colleagues. At the American Academy of Ophthalmology meeting in New Orleans, I was fortunate to run into Guy Kazarian, a very strong advocate for refractive surgery with the Refractive Surgery Alliance, started the Physician CEO Program. We know he's involved with outcomes for LASIK patients. And we talked about refractive surgery just briefly. Now, refractive surgery is far more common than you think. Probably the number one cause of visual impairment worldwide is refractive error, whether it's presbyopia, myopia, astigmatism, hyperopia, whatever it is. It's a very common thing. In fact, come on, even I have presbyopia. And Guy and I were talking about how the field has changed over the years. You know, our number one refractive surgery is cataract surgery. And it's also our most powerful refractive surgery. Just think about it. You can fix someone who's a plus 20 hyperope or a minus 20 myope or someone who has a large degree of astigmatism. You can address the depth of focus. You can address presbyopia. All of these things can be addressed with IOL-based surgery. So yeah, think of refractive surgery as a spectrum. On one end, we have just sure pure corneal refractive surgery like LASIK, but there are other things too, as well as intraocular surgery, vacant IOLs. We now have uh, types of different IOLs for cataract surgery or lens replacement that can be extended depth of focus. They can be multifocal, trifocal. They can even be coming up soon, truly accommodating IOLs. So the future is very bright. So I encourage you to think of refractive surgery is something that you have a passion for because if you love cataract surgery, by definition, you love refractive surgery. Anyway, check out the brief video. I think you'll find it very enlightening and I encourage you to really think of it yourself as a refractive surgeon. Um, I'm here with Guy Kazarian, Refractive Surgery Alliance president, big leader in the world in refractive surgery. And my question is, what is the future of refractive surgery? And why is it so important? Is it a subspecialty of ophthalmology or a super specialty? Guy, school us, teach us. Refractive surgery is probably the most important part of medicine today in terms of its impact on humanity. We have an epidemic of myopia, which is gonna affect more than half the world's population within another 25 years. And over 8% of the world is gonna be highly myopic with all the comorbidities that that involves. Refractive surgery affects the ability to limit that myopic progression, but also to treat myopia in young adults and presbyopia in middle age. And of course, refractive cataract surgery. Virtually every, every person on the earth is gonna be affected by refractive surgery as refractive surgery becomes primary care for vision correction. The future is going to be only limited by the people who participate in it. The future is gonna be determined by the people who set the standards and step up to treat humanity. We are a very small group of people to treat a massive amount of people. And refractive surgery is gonna be the answer. So I think the future of refractive surgery is that we're exploding in every dimension with every phase. And we're gonna wind up with uh, an impact on humanity that is gonna cause history to look back at our time and say that this is one of the most important events that occurred because it's the first time in all of human history that we've been able to take a congenital defect of such functional importance and treat it on a mass scale with such safety. Wow, with such small numbers of us though, and it's gonna affect 50% or more of the population in terms of myopia, and in fact, presbyopia is 100% of the population. How do we increase our impact? Well, this is why we have declared refractive surgery as a super specialty. So not, not a subspecialty? No, 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 of course not. Because a subspecialty means that you're doing that and a little bit of this. This is a super specialty, like plastic surgery is to general surgery. So we have, we have skills that go way beyond what it takes to be an ophthalmologist. Knowledge, diagnostics, equipment, technology, treatments. And so to be a super specialty, you have to be extremely highly trained. And that's what refractive surgery is. The World College of Refractive Surgery and Visual Sciences has formed and has established refractive surgery as a standalone specialty, which is leading to the formation of an entire industry of refractive surgery, which involves manufacturers, surgeons, optometrists, scientists, 
and frankly NGOs, politicians, and all the stakeholders who are affected by this. So we have a super specialty which is formed and which is going to bring refractive surgery to the world. The number one cause of visual impairment in the world is untreated refractive oh, errors yeah. and cataracts. So those two things alone are com are comprise more than 90% of visual impairment in the world. And I can fix both of them. And that's right. And, and all of ophthalmology and the pathology focused ophthalmology is treating 9% of visual impairment in the world. Wow. Refractive wow. surgery is going to treat the other 90%. 90%. Wow. That is amazing. Yes. So what's the last kind of best advice you could give our young viewers? A young surgeon who's just learning cataract surgery, learning refractive surgery. What's the best bit of advice about the next 10, 20, 30 years? Remember the purpose of ophthalmology. Pathology is important. We need people to treat pathology. Optic nerves, retinas, all the glaucoma issues, all these things are critically important to have a functional system. But why do we have eyes? We have eyes to see. The things that you yeah. attracted you into ophthalmology was to make the world see. And refractive surgery finishes the job. Refractive surgery is the one field that really is focused on vision and lets people see the world improving their function, their safety, their performance, and frankly, their economics and every other aspect of their life every waking minute. I would say, remember why you're here, it's about vision. Such sage advice. Remember, you do an eye well surgery, you do a corneal refractive surgery, you are changing the way the patient sees the world every waking moment for the rest of their lives. And that's critically important. So thank you, Guy, I really appreciate it. And certainly, if you're a cataract surgeon, you are a refractive surgeon. Time to join the RSA, join Guy Kazarian, join me, and let's make the world a better place with fixing the refractive errors. Thanks, Uday. Bye.